Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. Always a magical night. Opening night, the first of the regular season. We are about officially set to drop the puck on this season. The Flyers start with possession as we are now underway. Driving right to the front. Stones him on the one-timer. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. Cherus won the draw and they'll look to set up. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. And they come up with it as the puck skips out. Sends a pass over. Sends a pass in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Merce Lickens hangs on to the puck to stop the play. off the draw. Philadelphia's aggressive start has resulted in the game's first goal. Look at this one, Cheryl. Yeah, and it's impressive, the entire start by this team. They knew that they had to come into this barn and be ready to play because when you're the away team, not only are you the underdog, but you need to take advantage when you get it. And execution, that's the name of the game. That's why they get the first goal. The Blue Jackets move to the offensive zone. Turns that one away. Johns freezes the puck and we'll get a face-off coming up. Well, he hasn't been busy all night, but just real good decision there to just jump on and gobble that puck up. The Blue Jackets win that offensive zone face-off. And he makes the save. Handles the puck. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Skates to the crease. The sides to think about it. Gains the zone along the right wall. And that's deflected. Taken along the wall by Jenner. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. The Flyers will play it from the defensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. Slides the puck over. Oh, he caught him in the open ice! In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming. And... Oh, he has a beat, but it goes off the inside post! Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We got a 1-0 game to this point. The Flyers come up with the defensive zone draw. Takes it across the blue line. Great reach with the poke check by Wierenski. The Blue Jackets play it along the boards. Taken by Robinson. Gets up to Levada to make the stop. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Johns can be a difference maker for this team because he's so good at coming up with a stop on cross crease chances. And that's his post to post zone ability, guys. You need your goalie to be sharp against those grade A scoring chances, and he's usually right there for him. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Takes the pass, turns it aside with the glove. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. The Flyers take possession here inside the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Peak. The Blue Jackets have it now. 
Columbus gets the puck near the boards. Center and feed! And that's stopped! Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Quick feed to Peak. And now it's grabbed by Giroux. Sends the pass over. Lawton's got it in the offensive zone. Here's the pass in front! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Here's a short pass to Giroux. There's a save! Merzlikens is able to make that save and put the rebound in the corner. Puck grab by Myers. And that's blocked. Giroux's exploring options with the puck. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. Tremendous puck control here. And there's the whistle. Officials hand up high, signaling a penalty. for being strong in the face-off dots, guys. That's his quick draw zone ability, and it's how he can win puck possession. Chara's a solid defender, but he can still throw up points for his club. Now, as I send it back upstairs, I'll be watching out for one of these players to give their team a chance to win tonight. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. And they send it down the ice. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. The Blue Jackets will have to kill off two minutes here, charging the call. Philadelphia's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. In a five on three, you have advantages all over the ice in the offensive zone, but you still can move. You can move and isolate players. When you do this, you create movement, more opportunity. That's exactly what you have to do. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And now he angles it across to Konechny. The Blue Jackets gain possession of the defensive zone. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Passes it to Giroux. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Columbus gains a hold of the puck against the boards. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Gives them nothing in front. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Philadelphia's got a hold of it against the wall. Here he is in front! Oh, and that one pumps up short as he just gets enough of that one! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Columbus will try to break out here shorthanded. Grabs control of it at the point. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Gets it out of his own end. Angles it over to Hayes. The Blue Jackets have the puck now. The Flyers ready to go on the attack. Over the line they come. Moves it to Hayes. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Tries to get it to tip it. Bodie's penalty has expired, but they remain shorthanded as he joins the kill. Tippett's got the puck. Great read to break up the play. Takes it to the net. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all fun in, and he steals it because of that last attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Play continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Quick pass to Tippett. Looks to set up at the point now. Tonight. 
has him in front. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Face off coming up. They can smell blood here, I think. Yeah, they need to put their foot on the gas pedal because they recognize that the goaltender, he was under seas, James, and he really didn't get a chance to get much rest. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Couturier. Columbus has it near the wall. The Blue Jackets move the puck in the defensive zone. Drives to the sweet spot. The Flyers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Back at the point, they set it up. Moves it quickly over to Texier. Gets in front of it. Johns doesn't have any problem stopping that puck, and even better, redirecting it to the corner. Columbus takes possession along the wall. There he is from the slot! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Philadelphia's coaches wanted a lot of shots on net, and the team has delivered so far leading late in the first. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Wrist shot from the slot. This is high! You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on that, not good enough. Here in the lake, going to the frame. Philadelphia's up, one zip. The Flyers win it in the defensive zone. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Dumps the puck in. The Flyers have it against the wall. Slides it across to Pitlick. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. The Blue Jackets will play it in their own end. Quick feed to Severson. Corrales got it in the offensive end. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. And another call against the home team. And these fans, have, I think they've had enough. They've had enough, and they're booing at the officials. And for the players, this is so frustrating. You try and kind of get the temperature of the way the officials going to call the game. And real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. Philadelphia's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. been tripped up and we got a penalty coming up here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Tight game at the end of the period and you take a penalty. Your PKers have to come up huge and get you to the intermission. What an opportunity for the power play here. They've got lots of time to work this five on three. Off the face off, they take the puck. Columbus has it in the neutral zone. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. In all alone! Here's a backhander! He does a great job of exploiting the weakness of the coverage, and he finds a way to break away from the pack. He's in on the breakaway, James, and what a battle it is. It's one that he wins, and he drives the puck home. The Flyers are closing this period on a high note, now leading by two. Well, they've really taken control of this game in the first period, James. They've set the tone, and a lot of it's coming off of their shot selection. They're putting a ton of pucks to net. Here's a short pass to Giroux. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Big save! Big save right at the end! That concludes period number one. I cannot believe they got one of the all-time great 90s hip-hop acts getting set to play for the fans here in this intermission. I can't wait for this. We'll come back to period number two in just a bit. Hey, fans, don't play in our 50-50 draws coming up in the middle of the 
The Blue Jackets win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. Puck dumped in. Moves with the puck at the corner. Drives it to the crease. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Oh, fantastic stop here. And it takes a shot. There's another stop. My goodness, they are really starting to dial up the pressure here now. So we'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Forward check's effective because he distributes the puck so cleanly, guys. His tape-to-tape -tape zone ability is what helps him set up his teammates for success. Booty's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Gets the puck over to Roslovic. Columbus has it in the defensive end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. And it's a quick pass to Severson. Takes the feed from his own end. Drills him. Throws it in. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Battle along the wall. Provorov's got the puck through the neutral zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Makes it look easy. Great positioning with the pad save. Poked away in the neutral zone. Wierenski's back out onto the ice as we are back to even strength here. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from the bottom. Oh, a save on the play! Wow, oh, that's Grant Larsony, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. And he's going to hang on to the whistle and listen to those plays. Oh, uh, it's electric in here. Everyone up on their feet to get a standing ovation after that beauty. I have to look at the personnel to see who gets the advantage here because it's coincidental, but it's who the team loses that really matters. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Why? Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to... Oh, what a chance here! Takes it across the blue line! Oh, what a save on the play! Scooped up along the wall by Faraby. Johns robs his opponent after that last save, and you can just see the shooter is in disbelief. Can't believe he came up with that one. But what it does is it sends a message to his team to start playing. Start playing in front of him, and they need to answer the call. Look at this thing. Oh, stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Great stop by Merzlikens. Sends it in front. Scores! What a finish on the play. Just a fabulous goal, Jim, with a lot of elements woven into it. I mean, he's stumbling, so he almost falls, but he's able to get a shot off just in time. He's able to hold himself up and get that shot off. His hands away from his body. Not the greatest position. But he manages to find the back of the net. Philadelphia has been the dominant team tonight. And look at the score here. But I think it starts with the back end there, Cheryl. Well, it really does. This has been a clinic in terms of a 200-foot game. you got to protect your goaltender and take care of your own zone if you want to get going north. And that's exactly what they've done. And they've generated a ton of chances creating their offense out of the rush. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. Let's see what the officials are calling. I just had a gander at the bench and the energy 
in the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. Well, I expect that they're going to go back to the umbrella formation, James. They had success earlier on it on the power play with three up high trying to move the coverage. Hey, for everyone who wants to draw it up, it's exactly what it looks like, the top of an umbrella, and then you're getting the coverage to move around for a shot as well. And he loses both the puck, and he rings the post! Philadelphia's trying to increase their lead, and they're sitting pretty comfortable right now, just dominating possession in the offensive zone. This one wires right off the post. But nonetheless, they are always receiving and hounding the puck. Great game by them. Jabs the puck away. Passes on over to Robinson. Here's a great use of this. Oh, my goodness, it's stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. Moves the puck. Moves it to Couturier. More time on the clock as they grab the puck. And they get the puck out. Picked up along the boards by Texier. that one takes the feed Philadelphia has got a hold of the puck quick pass to Texier takes the feed fires it into the offensive zone moves it quickly over to Konechny the Flyers take it across the line feed to the middle and that's deflected off someone in front Atkinson's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. You can almost hear the size on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here, James. A tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. Hit. Solid 
Allen hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Severson's taking it from his own end. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. And he takes the feed. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. The Flyers gain possession. Delayed pen. And in like that, they're dropping the mitts. You have to drop the mitts. When you hit their star player, you know he's not going to fight. So who comes in? A physical guy who knows how to drop the gloves and win it. Yeah, if you're the one that's underneath and on the ice, you want to take your five-minute ticket and march yourself over to the penalty box and get your rest. And after that spirited tilt, Cheryl, we know what the rule is, and these guys are done for the night. James, they're going to hit the showers and cool off those tempers that were flaring. Anytime you fight in this league, you're going to get a major, and they're getting ejected. Columbus with a big defensive zone faceoff. They come up along the wing. Dumps it in. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. The Blue Jackets pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. And that's intercepted by Konechny. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Here's a feed in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Here he is, wrists it on that. Well, he's been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. The Flyers win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And the stick is best friend on that save right there. They are really talented here tonight. Back to back saves, my goodness. Face off coming up here, and Cheryl, let's see if they can keep that momentum going. No question about it, James. We know where the momentum lies right now after some sustained pressure, heavy pressure, heavy forecheck, lots of shots going to the net. The goaltender is fatigued. You want to make sure that you can continue to apply that pressure and see if you can squeak one by. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. The Flyers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Winds up, lets it go. The noise, and he got all of it. Big save by the goaltender once again. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Bemstrom's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Giroux's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Denies him on the slapper! Scores! He put it into his own net! Oh, that's a really tough goal, James. You can see the frustration on his face and the body language. Just thinks he lost track of it as it found the back of the net. The Flyers continue to show no signs of slowing down here tonight. Well, they keep filling the net, James. They fill it because they've got the puck on their stick. I mean, they've led Ozone possession time here, but they're doing something with it, not just hanging out on the perimeter. Coming to the slot, and that's knocked away by Peak. Picked up along the wall by Konechny. Here's a chance. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Merzlikens. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Inside the offensive zone. Columbus gains control of the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Gets the puck in deep. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Moves inside! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop! 
stop by Merzlikens. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Bergstrom's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Good job tangling up his opponent here. And makes the save. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck against the wall. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Philadelphia's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Moves it to Patrick. Puck exits the zone. Patrick's got it against the boards. Merce Lickens makes the save and hangs on for a stoppage of play. Hayes is ready for the face-off as we are about to resume this power play. The Flyers take possession off the face-off. Here's a short pass to Provorov. Great save by the goaltender to get a pat on that one, keeping the puck out of the net. Corrales recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And he loses control here. Reaches out and uses the stick. Oh, he's so good. Oh, my goodness, what a star. That's unbelievable. James Atkins scores. And another goal for the road team here tonight. And the rate of booze has begun from the crowd. Yeah, right from the rafters all the way down. The booing begins, and it doesn't let up. They cannot believe that their team is just not played tonight, not happy with the efforts. They're getting blown out. The Flyers have been moving and grooving all night long, and we're only in the second period here, Bounder. Well, they're finding a way to get the puck, and that's because they're retrieving it. But when they get it, they're keeping it. They're not letting anyone have it, and the motion in the offensive zone has been incredible, and the score is a result. Sends it into the offensive zone. Receives the pass. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Is there. Bodie is ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the offensive zone. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck under man. The Flyers have it now. Quick pass to Giroux. The Flyers cross the line and gain the zone. Centering feed. Moves it again. The shot. And that goes on someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Hayes will look to win possession here on the faceoff and try to continue this power play on the right note. The Blue Jackets start with the puck in their own end. Loose puck battle along the boards. Take it along the wall by Severson. Grabs the puck here in their own end. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Here's the pass in front. Can't connect the play. The Flyers look to start the transition game. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Broken up by Peak. Handles the pass. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves into the slot. Shots. And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this is been a potent power play. The two things you need, you need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. Good all night long. 
Bemstrom. Scooped up along the wall by Robinson. Fires it into the offensive zone. Tries to feed it over to Patrick. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. And he was ready for that one. Columbus gains possession shorthanded. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Oh, what a save by Tarasov. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. Three penalties in one period. You got to stay disciplined. And what it does is it disrupts the flow of your bench. Only your PKers are getting out of there. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four four on the ice. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Battling for it along the boards. And it's kicked away. Slides it diagonally to Provorov. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Here comes the call. here on this broadcast so don't even think about going anywhere we're back with more in a moment time to drop the puck here in period number three curious to see if there was any message sent in the room in that second intermission because it has been a blowout thus far i wonder if they might even just run the clock well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Philadelphia's power play has been like a freight train, James. Every time they're on it, they've retrieved the puck with ease, and they found a way to create motion and opened up their own lanes. Their success is a reason why this team's leading. The Flyers have been the busier team offensively, and as a result, they lead it big time here in this third. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. They got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They got to find a way to play even strength. Oh, 
good use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Philadelphia's got a hold of it against the wall. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And that's deflected off someone in front. And he slides it quickly to Corrali. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. The Flyers gain control of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's the pass. Takes a shot. And he was ready for that save. Bodie's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Flyers win the faceoff. From point blank, big save by the goaltender watching that one. Oh, Trevor saved by Tarasov. Now lining up here for the faceoff after a great shift there, Cheryl. Yeah, in the offensive zone, they have all the momentum. Would be surprised to see a little stall at the faceoff here to give their goaltender a little extra breather because he has been under siege, and you can see it on his face. He needs some rest. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Bodie is gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Columbus has won the face-off here in their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Now a quick pass to Bodie. The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. Quick stop! How did he stop that one? Well, that's a picture-perfect save, James. It's getting to position and getting square to the puck, and the only way it happens, if he reads the play. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Works it across to Giroux. The Blue Jackets get a hold of it. Good use for the body on the play. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. Johnson's penalty is almost expired. Scores! And there's another power play goal! Wow. Well, practice makes perfect, and you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel. The coaching staff has shown the video of how they want it executed, and they deliver tonight. Oh, man, he's an incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. Philadelphia's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Sure. Yeah, I'd say so, and we always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Reflexes with the glove by Tarasov. Philadelphia is on total cruise control early in this third period. Here's a change. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he takes the dish. The Blue Jackets pick up steam and are on the attack. Denies him in close. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Walker's lugging the puck. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Here's a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Moves it to Johnson. Columbus has it against the half wall. And the goal scores! You cannot bite on the movement of the hands, James, because he is absolutely incredible in tight spaces. And he reads his opponent, the defender, so well. And once he gets a little bit of space, he knows exactly where he's going to deliver that pass. He executes it perfectly, and it winds up as a goal. 
the Blue Jackets are starting to show a little respectability here amongst themselves as they get one back. Yeah, it's about mojo. It's how you end the game with good habits because you want to make sure that you don't carry the beginning of the game into your next one. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Safety first. Bemstrom's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Hayes has won the faceoff. There's a shot. Turns him away. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. The Flyers win the draw. Here's a shot. Oh, he gets all that one with the pad. The Blue Jackets will kill off a few extra seconds now. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. Takes it to the front. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Fires it on net. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Johns has been really effective tonight. Really do He's got a step. Oh, to the eyes of the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Bodies recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Philadelphia has won the draw and they'll go to work. Big time save and a big time shot. Giroux's looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. Big time save by Tarasov. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Here's a short pass to Konechny. Sensational stop with the stick by Tarasov. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Stopped by the goaltender. Quick pass to Giroud. That's wide of the net. If you're in the slot, you've got to hit the net. Here's a pass in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Konechny. From the open ice, they gain the line. Sends it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Wierenski. Goes right to the crease. Nice save from point blank range. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Scores! We'll get those rally caps on. Now everyone's going to need to add one on. It's going to be a team collective contribution if they want to get back in this one. But it all starts with one goal. If they can wear it, find a way to get another one quickly. You never know. Certainly down, but not out completely yet. Jackets don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Niskanen's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. And that pass is redirected. Pass across to Robinson. The Blue Jackets carry it along the wall. And a 
puck leaves the zone. Here he comes, in on the breakaway! Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Philadelphia is showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. The Blue Jackets win the defensive zone faceoff. Takes the feed, moving in. Philadelphia's got the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Johnson's got the puck along the wing. The Flyers have it against the wall. Columbus gains a hold of it. Severson's got it in the defensive end. The Flyers have it in the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. Picked up along the boards by Boudreau. Grabs the puck. Shot! And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Hayes caught red-handed. Tripping is the call. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Philadelphia's won the draw. The Blue Jackets have it in the offensive end. A chance to score! around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice, and when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly, and they're able to hammer it home. Columbus has to figure out how to build off that now, Cheryl. Yeah, momentum is only good, James, when you can build on it. If it just stays there static and nothing happens, guess what? It goes the other way. So this next shift is critically important. The time is not on their side, so they have to find a way to counter quickly and provide a much-packed punch. Nice hook check. Jenner's moving it ahead. And now it's over to Texier. Philadelphia's got the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Quick feed to Jenner. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I would have been up on the tap, but clearly the game's changing. Jackets take possession in the defensive end. Columbus jumps into the offensive end and goes on the attack. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. The Flyers will play it from the defensive zone. Now he takes it over the line. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Here we go, pucks in deep. Philadelphia's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, textbook hook check to turn that over. The Blue Jackets play it along the boards. Takes a shot, and he shuts the door on that. Handles the puck at the point. Here's a pass down low. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Through center. This incredibly one-sided contest finally reaches its final minute. Columbus has the puck. Poked away at center by Frost. The Flyers gain possession. Philadelphia's got it across the line. Puts it on net. Reverses the leather. What a save by Tarasov. Philadelphia. 
Philadelphia's all but got this thing wrapped up here late in the third. They have capitalized on many scoring chances tonight. The Flyers win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, they just got enough of that one to keep it out. Final second to this one. An absolute clunker performance by the home team, and the fans are letting them hear it.